Hey, how you doing? My name is Emilio. I work in technology and I absolutely love it. And thanks so much for tuning in today. We're gonna be covering a little bit of the stuff that I myself as an IT manager go through on a day-to-day basis. Every day is different, but we'll just summarize it and give a bit of a glimpse on the day of a life of an IT manager. Do what you do in the socials by subscribing as well, clicking on that subscription button and on the bell so that you don't miss out on anything. I will just mention that I've got a full length IT manager online course that I know that you'll definitely find helpful. In the description, you can check that out where I've got hours worth of footage on there on how to become an IT manager. I know that you'll definitely find it helpful. So like most people, I wake up in the morning and get ready for work. I'm working from my home studio, which is what you're seeing right here. And I'm also working from the office. I've got to commute into the big smoke in the city and that's where my day job is. So I open up my laptop once I get in and I check my emails and I open up my instant messaging and see what is going on, seeing what has happened overnight and then getting on with it. Now, at the end of the day, the IT manager is responsible for the technology, for the IT systems. So I'm gonna open up my ticketing system as well and see what's going on in there. Of course, tickets are gonna be coming in to that ticketing system from a wide range of people. Also, a lot of my systems, so my monitoring system that makes sure that the health of my environment is doing well, my backups to make sure that my backups run overnight and also perhaps some security systems to let me know if there are vulnerabilities, if there's malware, if there's antivirus, anything like that that's happening anywhere on my network. So I myself as the IT manager being ultimately responsible for all of it, will look through all of these tickets, assign them to some of my staff or do some of these myself. Now, after that, the most important part of my day happens where I go and get myself a coffee. So I wanna make sure that I have good relationships with all of the staff across the business. I will then walk around the office and say hello to people. Go and talk to the people who are in senior positions. Go and talk to the people who are not in senior positions. Talk to everybody, let them know, hey, how you doing? How's everything going? How can we help? So just being somebody that is personable, somebody that is approachable, somebody that understands, and somebody that doesn't talk tech to non-tech people. If I'm gonna go and talk to them about an ID10 Tierra or something like that, they're really not gonna understand at all what I am talking about. So I wanna be able to translate what I'm saying into a non-technical speak. Now the IT manager is responsible for everything. So in a business, they're gonna look after the whole lot. Now it depends on a small, medium or large company, the IT manager may look after a team, they may look after a small or a large infrastructure set up so every single day is slightly different. One day I could be putting out fires, things have gone wrong, people need to get things fixed. One day I could be actually thinking more strategy, what is the roadmap, what is this business wanting to do and what can the IT manager put into place to try to propel the business forward, be more productive, make more money, do all that sort of stuff. Now I've got a lot on my plate. I'm not only looking after staff, I'm not only ultimately responsible for all of the systems but I'm dealing with vendors, I'm dealing with customers, I'm dealing with third parties, I'm dealing with all these providers all over the place, people that I'm buying equipment from, companies that are helping me with specific services. I'm dealing with telcos, you know, telecommunication companies, I'm dealing with networking providers. So I'm ultimately wanting to build relationships with them, get the best cost, make sure that they are reliable, making sure that they are doing their job, responding to incidents that have occurred perhaps on a network link. If I'm buying equipment from them, I wanna be getting the best deals, the best costs, all of that sort of stuff. Now throughout the day, of course, things can go pear-shaped very, very easily. I could come in and have my plan, right? I've got, I've got all these things that I wanna do. And then all of a sudden, my primary domain controller has gone down and half of the staff can no longer log in. Let's go and fix it. You can have your plan, but then things change. And the great thing is that I don't actually know what every day holds. I've got my schedule, I've got my calendar, I know what I want to do in a specific day, but then any incident that happens that is a major incident has to involve me. Now the IT can be expensive. There's a lot of systems. There's switches, there's routers, there's firewalls, there's storage, there's servers, there's load balancers, there's data cabinets, there's a whole bunch of stuff. There's services up in the cloud, there's services in alternate sites, there's all of my backup stuff. There's a lot of software, there's a lot of hardware that costs money. I need to look at my IT budget. I form an IT budget once per year, 
generally financial year to financial year. And in there you include all of your OPEX, all of your CAPEX, and that is essentially my yearly expenditure, the stuff that I wanna buy, renewable licenses, services that I need to pay for every single year, all of that is in my IT budget. I submit it to finance, finance go, yep, we're happy with that, or no, we're not happy with that, that's too expensive, find me something else. I need to make sure that I'm not overspending. I need to make sure that if I need to go and buy something new, it's been included within my budget. If I wanna go and buy myself 10 new Dell EMC servers, and they're gonna cost me maybe 10 to 15 grand each, and I open up my budget and I've only budgeted for three, I've got a bit of a problem. So what do I do? Well, what I would do is I would write perhaps a business case. I write a business case for these seven servers, submit it to the directors, submit it to the board of directors, submit it to the leadership team, and say, hey, I need to buy these additional seven servers that have not been budgeted for, this is why, this is the reason, this is what happens if we don't buy it, the risks, all of that sort of stuff. You've got to put into factoring in a business case and then you go and submit it. You get it approved, you'll get questions, you'll need to have the answers. So I need to ensure that my environment is running healthy. So you could have TVs scattered around your IT area where all of your IT department sits, where the IT manager sits, telling you the health of the environment. Are these systems running operational? Are they green? Are they orange? Are they red? Red means bad, you need to fix that. But having nice dashboards on screens around the place helps me to know what is going on. So I can easily just from my desk look up and say, all right, everything is looking good. So I need to make sure that servers are healthy, that my network is healthy, that all of my infrastructure is patched, it's updated, firmware is all schmick, it's all my responsibility, so I need to make sure it's all okay. Then comes lunchtime. So lunch is done. I now feel like having a bit of a snooze, but I can't. So then we just rinse and repeat. All the stuff that we've talked about, we'll go through it again. We'll try to do big strategy stuff, big bold stuff. We wanna change the world. We wanna make this business really, really cool, really, really fun. We also wanna get involved with all of our techs, making sure that they're doing their job, making sure that everything is running healthy, running good. Because I'm dealing with customers, I'm dealing with vendors, I'm dealing with people out in my business who are calling me and saying, why is your systems admin not doing what they need to be doing? Why is my computer broken? Your IT help desk is not very good. So. I am the scapegoat. I'm the person who's gonna be copying a lot of this. And then I've just gotta to try to keep calm. If I'm going crazy, if I don't have things under control, if the IT manager is losing their cool and they're not keeping calm themselves, it's not gonna help the whole situation. So because I'm looking after people, I'm looking after techs, I'm looking after staff, there needs to be things where I need to now manage them, right? I need to not only make sure that they're doing their job, but making sure that they are taking leave, that they're feeling okay. You're struggling a little bit here. You need to kick them up the backside when they're not performing correctly. Write up their KPIs. Then a staff member leaves. I've got to go and do recruiting. I've got to deal with recruitment companies. I've got to work with HR. I need to do interviews, recruit them in, go through the whole induction process. Man, there's a lot of stuff. There's all this stuff that needs my approval to get stuff done. So my team may go out and they need to buy some new equipment. They need to buy 10 new licenses of Windows 10. They need to get my approval. I have to sign purchase orders. I have to raise invoices. I have to deal with the vendor. Hey, finance is saying to me, hey, you purchased these uh, these 10 computers. What are they for? Um, so I need to cost code it and say, well, that's for the marketing team. I then need to make sure that all my documentation is kept up to date. So I myself being the IT manager, I wanna make sure that my IT team is running as smoothly as possible. So if a staff member leaves, a new one comes on, the process of inducting them, the process of saying to them, this is everything you need to learn. Go away for a week, learn all of this sort of stuff. You'll then be an expert and know all of our systems. So you wanna make sure that all the documentation, everything is up to date, it's modern and it's kept well. How could I forget about meetings? There are meetings all the time. There'll be a meeting about operations. There'll be a meeting around infrastructure, capacity, security, architecture stuff, future stuff. There'll be meetings with me and my IT team with different teams. There'll be meeting with me and staff, giving them updates on how things are going. Meetings with directors, meetings with board, 
meetings because I need to present a new business case. There are meetings all the time. Then it's time for a coffee because we are exhausted. I come back, I then rinse and repeat. All of this I do about another 20, 30 times again. I then get ready to go home and have a good rest and have some sleep. Ha, you're the IT manager. You don't get any sleep. You're on call all the time. Ha, you're on call all the time. So there is no a day in the life of a IT manager. It all merges into one big craziness. You're the person, you get called. There is no break, there is no sleep. You're getting calls in the middle of the night from your texts, from people, from vendors. <sighs> It can be exhausting, but I absolutely love it. Hey, why don't you let me know? Are you an IT manager? Are you somebody who's wanting to know more about the IT manager? Why don't you let me know in the comments below? Would definitely like to know what you're up to. And also do like this video if you did like it and subscribe, clicking on that button on the face over there. And also check out some of my other videos where I talk about all things tech. Thanks again for spending the time. We'll talk to you next time.